Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. Romans 12, 2. A reading from the Butterworth book, page 176. Let's take a moment to be still. In this stillness, I want to suggest feeling a sense of gratitude. That's all. Just feel grateful. If there's ever been a time in your life when you've had a tremendous sense of gratitude for something that happened, you can probably remember that exhilarating feeling. Let your consciousness now express and experience this exhilaration. Just feel it. So I suggest both feet on the floor, and if you so choose, move up a little in your seat, straighten your back, and begin breathing. Breathe, breathe to the count of six into your heart, and then breathe out. Find that great gratitude that you've experienced in your life. Or find a place, a thing, something that you dearly appreciated, and let the love in your heart begin to grow. Let it grow. For you see, your heart has the most amazing power, and we've learned through heart math, to overcome all the craziness in our mind. In this place, according to nonviolent communication, Dr. Rosenberg, you cannot be violent, you can't be mean to yourself, and you cannot be angry or mean at those outside of you because when you're in this heart space when you're in this heart space you feel love now feel it grow love is growing. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Ah, then just let it out. Let this magnificent splendor of love pour forth from you and let it fill the room. Give it to your neighbor on the right, to your neighbor on the left. Feel this power of love. The love that's the healer. You're opening up new channels of thought in your mind. Not negative, but positive. Positive channels to be a difference in this world, to be love in this world. And now, as you feel this love grow stronger and stronger, send it from this whole congregation out into the world. Let it go. Make a difference. Be the love force. As Gandhi said, be the change you want to see in the world. And so it is, and so we choose to let it be. Amen.